Welcome to the Golf Channel. As we take a break from the PGA Tour, I thought it would be nice to learn a little something, and that is Newton's Three Laws of Motion. Newton's first law explains that an object at rest will stay at rest, or an object in motion will stay in motion until acted upon by an outside force. This law is also known as inertia. An object with zero net force is called balance forces. The gravity from the earth pushing down on the golf ball and the tee pushing back up on the golf ball keeps the ball in place on the tee, which makes a net force of zero and the ball st motion stay the same. When the golf club applies a force on the ball, it causes an unbalanced force since there is not an equal force to push back on the club and the ball goes flying. Newton's second law demonstrates when an unbalanced force is applied, it is a change in velocity. This is called acceleration. When a big force is applied to a small mass, such as a golf ball, it has a big acceleration. When the same force is applied to a bigger mass, it re results in a small acceleration. This is represented by the equation force equals mass times acceleration. Newton's third law is any push or pull on an object, also saying every action has an opposite and equal reaction known as karma. In golf, when the club swings down at the ball and applies a force to the ball, the ball is pushing back with the same amount of force as the club is pushing on the ball. That is demonstrating Newton's third law of motion. Thanks for tuning in, and back to the PGA Tour we go.